presidency. I mean, the first year there was a, it was a legislature, it was a, uh, uh, there was a prime minister for the first year. And then Jomo Kenyatta became president. And from there was a powerful presidency from Jomo Kenyatta, Arab Moy, even bits of Kibaki up until the constitution changed. Should we have remained a sovereignty because we look like we adopted a monarchy almost? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it looks so. Um, of course, the, the British is still a constitutional monarchy. Mm -hmm. That's why we are seeing the king, uh, not the president. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. If you're asking, so he's the president. And he's the head of state. And he's the head of state. Yes. And there's a prime minister. Correct. Who has also some deep roots in Kitale, my constituents, uh -huh. by the way. Uh -huh. yeah. The Sunak family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, the father. Yes. W was, uh, was born in Kitale. Yeah, followed the history before they went to Tanzania. Yes. And now eventually found themselves in Britain. The UK, yeah. And in the UK. So we, you know, Kitale is somewhere in the, in the globe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, you are, your, your but question... But you didn't realize that when he became the <laughs> prime minister. <laughs> before then, he, was, he wasn't no. useful at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they remember Obama is not very far from Kitale. <laughs> yes, so we, correct. <laughs> yeah, but your question is pertinent. So you should because, have uh, a president. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I was going there. <laughs> uh, the, your question is pertinent. We looks like we still... Uh, have some tenets of uh, constitutional monarchy mm. uh, from the prime minister. Of course, we borrowed heavily, having been uh, colonized by the British. We had to, uh, you know, obey the, their leadership uh, architecture. Uh, but uh, Jeff, remember uh, why we had anti-colonial uh, 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 forces in, in, in the name of Mau Mau. Uh, they were not really about the economy or the leadership. One was because the land has been taken. In fact, for your information, historically, if you look at the origin of Mau Mau, they'll tell you it used to be called the, the Kenya, the, the Land Freedom Fighters Correct. Army. Actually, they were the Land Freedom Armies. They were army. In fact, the, the, the British had to camouflage the name army so that they don't legitimize the group. So they, to say the, the Mau Mau, so that they look like it's an illegal, uh, you know, uh, uh, anti-colonial forces. But we gained independence, uh, freedom of political freedom, not economic freedom. I think uh, we are still colonized economically. We just took the political freedom part of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, you remember even in South Africa when Nelson Mandela was released uh, and, and there was now, uh, should we take, you know, should we, after apartheid, should we take both the, the power and the economic power? You know, Nelson says that if you give Africans, they're not still mature for the economic power. Uh, they'll fight and kill each other. Mm. Okay, yeah. so we give them the political freedom first, then the economic will come later. But Jeff, we are still economically colonized. And that's why the president is up in arms, is wondering why are we trading with the dollar? Why is the trade agreements not skewed you know, towards the superpower? Why the Africans disadvantaged in all treaties and agreements and conventions? Why are we not trading on, on equal platform? It's it because we didn't gain the economic power. We gained the political power. So we are ruling ourselves, but we don't have the economic power. We are still controlled. That's why you see the British uh, as establishments and the enterprises. You see the American enterprises. You see the Spanish enterprises. But you don't see a Kenyan enterprise in UK. You don't see a Kenyan enterprise flourishing. M-Pesa was uh, a Kenyan identity, an African identity. Why is it in uh, American uh, enterprise or in the Britain enterprise? It cannot be absorbed there. That is the economic colonization I'm talking about. They will not find, the, the king will not become a president here, but the king will set up a business here. Okay, so there is that uh, uh, economic empowerment that we, we never achieved and it is going to uh, sort of colonize us for a long time. 
and 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 you can see when you when the Africans are trying to catch up with the industrialization, uh, they somehow the economy twists towards technology, and we are still disadvantaged. We still go bounce back, and we are now uh, um, uh, struggling to catch up with the new technology and all that. We will always uh, revolve and evolve around uh, emerging technologies in the globe. Uh, for, for the near, for the many years to come. 